Alrighty, we're getting a jump start on the evening because the moon's not going to be up for a good while yet. And I think Saturn's hiding behind some trees, but over here in the uh, southern sky, or south, southeast, we have Jupiter. Oops, I'm using the wrong camera. <laughs> so let's back this up and try over here with a cannon. Whoa! What the hell was that? Uh, must be a plane. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it and I see the flashing lights uh, off to the right. Bye. Okay. Alrighty, we're trying to get the bands in and I can see them. I hope it's coming out better than it did that other night. I was really disappointed with uh, both Saturn and Jupiter. Let's go back out so we can see the moons of the planet. Yeah, I only see the three on the leading the way. Oh yeah, okay. And now it's very difficult to see, but there's one far off in the distance trailing behind. So, all right, there's those guys. Let's turn around and look over into the west for good old Venus over here. Okay, our odd-shaped uh, planet over there is <laughs> looks like a teardrop tonight. Yes, it's fallen. All right. Yeah. So let's turn us back around. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, I don't like the ISO on 1600, but at least we can see the sky. Now, I'm going to go look around for Saturn, and if it's not out yet, I'll pause this one and wait for that. Um, I think it'll be after 10 p.m. when well, the moon is probably still be in the trees by then. Oh, I see Saturn. I see it over there. There she be. All right. I think that's a much better shot than it was the other night. So it's 9.39 and we saw where it was in the trees. Still think it's a bit too light though. I can't see Titan, not on the video portion, but oh, darn, still not quite as nice as I like it. <laughs> oh, it's so muggy out here. My glasses are fogging up. <laughs> So if you can see that, yeah, I know it's grainy, but I did want to show where Saturn is in relation to the trees. Lightning bugs all over that willow tree, my goodness. <laughs> and then Jupiter up above it. Whew. Okay, so it's 9.44 p.m. now, and uh, the moon will be 99% lit if it ever gets through those trees. <laughs> but I've got a, probably a good another 15, 20 minutes or so, maybe even longer, before it'll pop up, so. 
Okay, and we're getting uh, Saturn on the Nikon now. Let's see if it comes out any better. Wasn't quite uh, happy enough with what I was seeing out here. But we'll check footage when we go in. All right, Moon, where are you? <laughs> oh, boy, it's muggy. And that should do it for our Saturn rising. All right. Well, that is cool. I'm quite happy. Look at all that flashing in the trees. Wow. Okay, I'll let the fireworks and the trees go on for a bit as I go and search for a moon. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, last night the glare of the moon really washed out Saturn of what little I could see of it through the clouds and the rain and <laughs> all that rain that was funny I can't believe I got caught out in it my oh my but tonight as we can see the moon and Saturn have spread further apart and now by Saturday in two days from now Mars and the moon will be next door neighbors just about I think up around here it won't be until after 11 p.m. if not later before they crust the trees for me boy it does suck being in the city I can only see a couple stars and a couple planets and that's it Ah, eh, maybe someday I can get out of here. How about North Carolina? That's my goal and it's my desire. I love North Carolina. It's one of the most beautiful states I've been to. And the people are fantastic down there. Love them. Mm -mm. All right. 957 that moon should be about four degrees above the horizon so it should be peeking through those tree branches over there and I don't see a damn thing down in the lower corner that's a house light nada all right let me in this one for now and God, I love all these lightning bugs showing up on here. They're just dancing up a storm, aren't they? They're firing up a storm, I should say. Wow. And finally, look who we have here should be about 99.2% lit over here in the southeast trees and that's how far apart the two are tonight a lot different than yesterday huh <laughs> there we can actually see a bit of detail on it and the moon rising through the Ohio trees. The video is coming out pretty yellow orange, but by eye, it's quite white, so it'd be my settings. It just comes out better this way, though. <laughs> All kinds of things flying in front of it. Boy, it's got a ways to go to before it crests those trees. But I think I'm going to wait it out. That is quite a cool look, though. Boy, one fly by after another. 
kinds of bugs and birds and who knows what else. <laughs> 10 18 p.m. now. I like how this recorder shows uh, the time of day it is. Okay, now, let's finally get the Nikon turned back on, which gets a lot better video of the moon. But as so many of you have heard me go on and on about this, um, I don't like getting the moon as much when it's full or nearly full because it always looks so flat. You just can't see the depth of the, of the craters and everything. I love the crescents. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with a full moon. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, so there it is. Finally free from the trees. And there, on this uh, three planet moon night, I'm going to wish you all a wonderful evening. Take care and and all the fireflies from up here say hello. <laughs> Alrighty, good night now.